Hello everyone and welcome back to Knuters. Welcome back to I know 800 hard mode edition where we are right now in the beautiful city center of Knuters and I would like to start my episode with yeah well some upgrades once again so we have lots of engineers as we can see that could potentially be upgraded so uh, this block here um, in total that I would like to definitely go ahead with there you go that is just then across uh, the main bridge and then those whopping people here that would also like to see some upgrades however what we need to do first for these guys here is providing electricity now I do have my school right here in the city center I've provided the school to upgrade some more workers that we have in this area so let's do this there's a few more here and then a few more here and yeah we are getting a bit red there with uh, the workers but that's no problem because I've already also prepared some farmers that we can continue upgrading so that's uh, those uh, lucky fellas and also perhaps on the other side of my whole city and do we still have some farmers available that we would upgrade in this area no not really right so this is all looking rather good and with that we have the balanced workforce again now i don't really need the school here anymore the school was to upgrade a few more guys over there right and this is this is no longer needed there might yeah actually there is actually some people that we can upgrade so let's just do it for those guys there right getting the workforce done and oh why do you not want to upgrade you don't have a marketplace there is a marketplace though here this seems like an interesting problem that i have done in this area but it should be fixed now there it is perfect now we have it and now i should also then be able to upgrade that one and we have the school here right so the school can then provide it all the way to the other side and that should be fine too now we can also upgrade that fella here perfect and we can also get rid of this mark uh, this warehouse here by the way it's not being used at all there is no real industry close by anymore so let's just move it over and with that we do have a bit of space available again we have a marketplace we have the school the pub so this is just perfect city space here that we can use let's just make it a bit more organized we have the main road that goes down this this way there um and then we basically have this whole area where we can just add more people than like that right so we could continue or will continue with this block there with their special entrances there you go looking cute as ever and then yeah definitely let's move this one here this is not looking particularly exciting there to me there we have that and then i can just add a few more buildings making this whole thing complete and also its own special entrance there it's going to take a while for them to grow but they have everything close by so they will be upgradable we can get rid of this school with that there you go and now we can uh, squeeze in a tiny tiny <laughs> power station and this one as we can see is for this whole district there so it's going to affect a lot of people in the area and we definitely would like to also hide it a bit from the wall so i'm going to add it right here in this in this little corner there so it's a side entrance to the theater that we have then there you go we can build it right away and add the connection like so there you go also a nice crossing let's also pave the roads there we do have the money at this point and also of course our bricks and then we just add some trees around it we could also add a wall would also be very realistic right but some trees would be fine too and with that this district here will see the rise of electricity in an instant now let's also continue paving the road we really can't afford having dirt roads anymore in my in my city and do we still have upgrades we still have 2000 artisans that we can go ahead with so we can of course use this to continue upgrading some here though this is looking like the edge of my town i would like to really make a proper downtown area right where we also see the rise of skyscrapers them so this all sh should look epic and nothing else <laughs> so that's those guys and then we have more over there perfect but this is looking really good so far and the only thing here those guys here they lack a school still right so for those artisans that we have there i can actually build another school just here for now um and of course we can get rid of the school once i have engineers in this area then but first let's uh, let them grow and then we can get rid of the school here again because for this area i have planned something else back in enbeza back in another scenery that is looking a bit warmer we can now finally settle on another island so fenton there it is and has prepared some mud bricks and wants a timber in addis ferizi and let's get this one let's get the party started over here we do have some 
Nice water, some nice fertile area there, and one, two, two river slots only. That's not that much, but it's at least something. And we can then get the road connection to the other side right away. No problem whatsoever. And the reason why I'm here, we do need the tapestries for the banquet of implications. And that requires also a bit of a workforce. So let's just check it out there for the tapestry. Oh, thank you, Beryl, 9,000 coin. What did I do to earn this pleasure? I hope it's not some trick or anything like that. Uh, we don't need the linseed farm. Unfortunately, we don't have linseed fertility. So in Taborim, we have it, right? So we only really need to get the indigo over. Though, however, we have spice here as well that I will need a later than for another production. I think, yep, there it is. The seafood stew, right? And also the taff grass. So that we can actually make then on this island. For that, I will need some um, uh, elders then as well. But that's, that's really for later. Right now, what we can start here with is a, a tiny town, really, for some new Embasin people. And let's make this one a bit different, so it's a bit densely, or not that, uh, not as densely populated as, let's say, the other, the other cities, right? So we're going to have a nice musician's court then here, just across that, perhaps with a nice um, entrance, and then we just have um, some loose buildings. So I would probably like to make a block like this. Uh, let's just try, uh, try it out, right, with some ornaments then in the center. Um, since we can actually copy the ornaments over, we could go ahead with having all of that here right away. Let's also have something for the horses and then probably a nice area, like a, a shed or something like that, or perhaps actually a campfire. This actually would cool, look cool, right? A campfire in the center of it and then some, some grass where people can also sit, right? So that's this. Let's actually build this one and just see how it looks then. All right, this is fine. And we can then copy the whole district and just move it to the other sides as well. And we can actually build it right away. Right, so lots of green area for, for, this, um, for this city here. Then lots of uh, loosely populated buildings. And we can add some several of these, um, you know, layouts then to the, to the game as well. Like we could also go with uh, one uh, two here like this, two here like this. They have a, uh, a street around them. Make this one a bit bigger. And then they have ornaments around it. We could also say like there is a, a campfire. Two campfires in the center where people can sit and enjoy. Um, then some grass where they can sit. Then some trees, right? And around it we do have street service buildings. Something for horses, like this one. And on that corner here perhaps too, on the other corner. And then we have some barrels. Nah, barrels really would not look good. Let's have a well on the other two corners. Right? Something like that. And then we have wakehams or tents. Yeah, we could also have some tents like this. I never really looked into and base and beauty buildings, so this might also be one of them. And this is also another block that we can have, right, with these ornaments. And of course, we would copy it then because I'm not building every single block manually myself but we can just do it like that um, and also add lots of these uh, double roads where we could then add some more more trees and stuff like that or a little plaza in the center doesn't match up let's put the the, mar the the marketplace and then i would still need to get some more uh, once the timber over we have enough of that in tabrim probably will need a trade route between the two of them i don't have a ship over here right now but that's something while well, the ship is on its way for the The ones at timber, we can continue with a water pump and then have the canal system going right in here. So we are going to make it like so that we have then one canal going like this, one going like this. Then we have the next one over here. So right, we keep the fertility up and then we do only need a warehouse and then already our two plantations. However, we can only build them once we have it fertilized, the, the fields that is. Meanwhile, I found uh, lots of additional um, items like a steamship's hit points increasing more accuracy per shot, also the epic item for the reinforcement, so giving 40% hit points, and also for our ironworks and foundries, items that boost productivity, but also 
um, increase attractiveness like this one here the heavy coal pyramid all ironworks and foundries 40 percent productivity and 40 percent attractiveness this is just really cool um let's send my convoy um that is now really really good with high quality stuff uh, let's send this one to knuters over there and we'll then equip our industry with it and meanwhile, in Enbeza, we have finished our first Indigo plantation. So each one of them is producing every minute. Um, and they will then provide, so two of them will provide one tapestry loom. And with that, we can get two tapestry looms. And that in return brings us four tapestries back again. Right now, we have a consumption of one. So we have a, a nice surplus there as well. About that trade ship, hmm, what should we use for this? Should we use this a charter route for now? Oh, is there also some ships coming in? Yeah, Admiral is sending in more ships to Enbeza. But in the meantime, let's use a charter rod for this one, as it's really only one item that we need for this one, right? And it's really just the Indigo. There you go, with Addis Ferris to Tabrim. All of it. Now, where is it spawning? Over there. Good, thank the gods, right? Because with that, <laughs> we we can actually salvage it. Um, so it can actually be used. If it would have spawned over there, it probably would not work at all for us. So this is the the quest that is running now. The only thing we now need to do here is then in Tabarim itself. So we already have the linen mills working with our linseed farms. However, of course, it's not enough. We do need another. Um, if I want to go with two, I do need two linen mills and that would result in four more linseed plantations. So either we boost them absolutely possible so i only need to build two more really um uh, if i want to make this work so one could be spawned here and the other one could be used then right in here for our linseed farm let's just see they really don't need that much space so it's all nice and golden and let's have it go up there so we can have this road then for more fields then and more farms over there as well let's build both of them right away and we probably will also need to upgrade this warehouse here now to a higher level looking much better of course and with that we have the linseed production for one uh, probably two additional mills let's build both of them here oh yeah also workforce wise in tabarim we'll need to add a few more buildings so we can go ahead with that up here by the way timber yeah it's okay i do have enough timber for now we can just go crazy with this a few more here and the marketplace has a good range and then probably another two blocks right over there for a few more people. And then we can also upgrade a few more. Those guys. Right, to get a bit of elder workforce in. That's that's the important thing here. Mm. Let's build them as well so that we get enough in. Perfect. Charter route is starting to work already. There it is. Getting us the Indigo over. And for Addis Ferrazi, uh, let's also build that Musician's Court to make people a bit happier about it. And... What? There's the quest for Tobias right now. It's actually looking pretty cute with all the trees. With the next ships coming out, we actually achieved the first Sea Lord title. That is an interesting title. It gives me attack speed plus 33% for my ships. So we can see the, the bonus then up here, the first Sea Lord effect. Um, so in total, it's 25% attack speed increase right now for my battleships, which is quite good. Um, of course, also it will count for the steamships that are coming out then soon for that purpose. Now, all the items are in, so we do have some items that will boost our ships, but we'll also have now items that will boost our industry. And as we can see, I do like influence. For the first time, we are short on influence. Now, I can counter this short-term-wise by upgrading now my engineers on that side of the river too to investors. Let's go ahead and do this. This will be quite a lot of additional um, influence now coming in. There you go, pushing us to 55 already. And then probably a few more here and also some more artisans on that side and going up we also have unlocked skyscrapers with the latest edition of my investors of more investors i should say and let's also have a few more upgrades here and then here of course 
as the town is getting more and more investors. We're pushing towards 60,000 right now and 75 influence are coming in again. Perfect. And also these guys here would like to upgrade now. We can do this. And this fire station here, we really don't need it there, really. Let's push it a bit further outside if I can. And yeah, Donny is introducing himself and he also offers then the elevator production that we could start now, assembly line elevators. With the latest power plant that is working over here, I should also check my oil supply there. It is still stable and still at maximum. I could, but I will not um, upgrade the oil harbor yet because it costs me too much, too many bricks. Overall though, that's it. Uh, we can, of course, now add some new skin for this side of the river, so it looks a bit in in motion with my library so the same uh, on par with my library and this is the the standard ones we have two districts there they look a bit distinctive um each now by now we have indigo as well so i can start building my tapestry looms so two was my goal and two we can build let's have both of them right beside my mill so they can get the materials from that and then deliver it to the warehouse that will also upgrade here now in the process i can and should upgrade a few more people to elders so we do have the workforce for that those guys here and those guys here perfect to have a an equal and balanced workforce once more Definitely also, hmm, a fire station might actually be pretty useful there, but we don't have any water close by. But I don't think we'll see that many fires there anyway. And mark my words. Now with the latest edition of Influence, we can now add the next trade union. And finally, finally, for all these furnaces, and boy, it's a lot of them, we can now add some proper items. So the first one that I would really like to use is the heavy coal permit. And this one gives me 40% productivity for these furnaces and also 40% more attractiveness. So, yep, we'll see the upgrade to the next level there attractiveness-wise. And the 40% are now in effect, so another 40%. Next up, we can use the uh, Ferris Al Sarami, productivity 50% and workforce reduced. Since we are pretty low on workers already, this is really helping us out, um, giving us a few more workers in again. It also increases productivity by another 50%, a whopping 50%. Also reduces the chance of riots. For so many furnaces, that's actually uh, worth quite a lot. We can still add the Spectacle Factory, but this is something I do not want. Um, and that's it. I'm using the Heavy Coal Permit instead of the other two, right? So we can still add the other two buildings, then uh, items to this side there. But I would not like to stack it up too much. By the way, would it work for these guys here? Yes, it is. And with that, we've also now reduced the negative attractiveness for my steel works. They do produce a bit less now, but they're getting boosted by my Steely Eyed Steelsmith. So productivity is the same. Um, but they are much more, or they are much better for the eyes, right? And we do get some attractiveness back again, which is pretty important at this point that we get this one up for my investors and all of that. Very good. So both of them are now boosted. The only thing we might think about here is moving some of these furnaces further into the range of this, of this trade union. And meanwhile, we've also finished the tapestries. So the next step then, um, Banquet of Implications, we can now turn in uh, those items. At the same time, we do get another main quest, getting a, a grip. So pick up at Kadima's Lighthouse the water pump blueprints for Arjun. Uh, let's use, let's get the, the tapestry over there first. So five tons only, not more. And five tons of dried meat. And then we can pick up the item there right away as well. Now, how many ships? These are the three ones. Where's the other ones? They're over there at Archie still. And let's get them over there as well for the water pump again. We should not leave Taborim undefended, right? Because the Admiral is in the area. And he would definitely attack my, my harbor right away once he sees that we are undefended there. Yeah, and how quickly the Admiral is, we can see right here. So th those guys here didn't catch up with that ship there on time. And they, he attacked them right away. And now we are in and we can defend that ship again. So that we hopefully don't lose it. And those ships are making a short execution of these guys here. Before that one went down. That was already pretty close. We can turn this one around because it also has a special item. So we can quickly dispose this ship there if we want to. But it's, I think it's going down now anyway. Alright, or can we have another shot? Nah. That's that, and let's move now into Kitimer. 
and also have a look at the loot that we find there. Our ship was destroyed. Oh, and we've lost the clipper. Where? In Nachtessen to N. All right. Fleet awaiting orders. Let's send some of my ships down. We have the mortar too to secure this channel there. Ship under attack. And what did we get out of it? Some weapons, all right, but that's it, right? Nothing to equip. Very good. And we're already on the way over there. So she's backing off again right away. Now, what other items do we have for the town hall? For the trade union, we have still some items there. We have items for the ships and also something for the residences. So 15% worker increase um, for uh, some certain areas. This actually is pretty good for that area, right? So right now we are a bit limited to... Let's turn in the quest to workers. So if we want to upgrade more people to artisans, we do need more workers. Space is limited. So what I could do is I could have a smaller town center somewhere here. Let's just see how we can make this happen. Let's get rid of these two farmers there and move two builders or two workers sorry over to this area this enables us to have a, a town a town hall then here that affects as many workers as possible and then we can equip the item for the increase like that and this brings us twice as many workers as we uh, currently had to the city let's actually turn this one around so it looks proper towards the what's the main road And with that, we can upgrade a few more workers again towards artisans. It's always much appreciated. And there we have a few more. And here probably as well. It's our human rights. Those guys would like a school. The school is here, so we do need to increase the range of it. And hopefully this does the trick. Other than that, I would need to get rid of one of these buildings for now. But I Ship think... Yeah, this one this is not being reached properly, but we can move it over there, you upgrade it, and then move it back them. again if we want to. The same goes with this one. So that they get their proper school coverage. There you go. Perfect. Now we can upgrade them. A ship was oh, and another ship. Where is it? Down there in Orb de Douche. There's also my... Clipper still, we have ships in the area, but it's there too, too, too far away there. We can then replace these trade routes with my cargo ships. Let's go back though. I would like to continue here with uh, that. So we can now also de deliver the the, uh, the water pump to Archie. And of course my damaged ship gets the blueprint. And now we can get this over there. Righto. Let's get them to my other ships first. And hopefully they move together. Because the Admiral, as we can see, is always in the area doing his business. So far so good. We continue with the main quest line here to hopefully unlock the scholars soon now. And then we continue onwards to some bigger battleships. Stay tuned. <laughs> 